Hello students, welcome to the channel Top Gate. In this video, I will discuss uh, Turing machine for subtraction of two numbers. If we have two numbers, say 3 and 2, then how to do the subtraction of these two numbers with the help of the Turing machine. Okay. Now, in the last video, when we discussed uh, Turing machine as an adder, then I told you that uh, the problem of Turing machine is that it does not know how to count things. It is not able to count things. Okay. So, what we do? We simply represent the number in the form of unary. Okay. So, if we have the number as 3, then in unary it will be 1, 1, 1. So, any number we have, we will represent it in the form of unary first and then we will subtract the two values. Fine. So, now how do we do this? Suppose we have two values m and n and we have to do the uh, subtraction of these two numbers then how we'll do this in this one we'll get two three cases okay one case is if m is more than n second case is if n is more than n and the third case is if m and n both are equal so what kind of results we'll get in, onto the input tape that i'll tell you that is if m is greater than n so what i'll get I'll get m minus n. That is the correct value. That is if m is equal to 3, n is equal to 2. So, m 3 minus 2 will be 1. So, m minus n if m is greater than n. That is a simple straightforward case. Okay. Now, second case is if m is equal to n, then we'll get a 0 in this one. That is a, again a straightforward case. And the third case is if m is less than n then in that case i'll again get a zero why because in unary i don't have any means to represent a negative number fine because uh, m is less than n suppose we have m is equal to 3 n is equal to 4 then we'll get a minus 1 m minus n i'll get a minus 1 fine so i don't have any means to represent minus 1 in the unary form okay so in that case also i'll show it as zero okay so let's take some string onto the input tape and then start designing the Turing machine. Okay, so I'll take uh, all the three cases one by one and then I'll show you uh, the, all these three cases can be incorporated on a single Turing machine. So onto the input tape I have a blank and then suppose I have uh, the first case I'm taking it as m is greater than n. Okay, so we have uh, say 1, 1, 1 four ones okay and then followed by i have a zero in between that is a separator so zero he here is acting as a separator so i can take anything here i can take x also i can take y also i can take a blank also so i can take anything here other than ones okay so again i'll take some ones here suppose one two three okay followed by certain blanks now what i'll do simply uh, if you just see the logic I'll read this first one and I'll change this one to B. Okay. So I'll change this one to B and then I'll go to the right hand side. And while going on to the right hand side, I'll skip all these ones. I'll skip this zero and I'll go to this B. And from this B, I'll take a left turn and find this one and change this one again to B only. So this one will be, will be changed to B and this one will be changed to B. So first one here and the last one here, the second part of the string that both will be converted to blanks okay then again i'll take a left turn come back here to the blank right hand side again i'll make this as a blank so this one will be a blank 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 so now three three equal and now this side one is left so this one because we have four here we have three here so four minus three is one so on to the input tape i should display one only one so what i'll do i'll simply display one here okay so what i'm doing i'm just finding the pairs for each characters before and after the separator okay so i'm starting with this one i found one and then i'll go to the right hand side i'll find one that is a pair for the first one then again pair for the second one then again pair for the third one then again if i'm not finding a pair so what i'll do i'll simply because i'll start with this one so i don't know whether there is one available onto the right hand side or not so i'll just first of all i'll make this as b only and then i'll go to the right hand side and there i'm not finding a pair for that one so what i'll do i'll take a left turn come here and make this zero as one and we are done okay so what i've got i have got one two three four four blanks here this is now one and these three are blanks so one is displayed onto the input tape and we are done okay so let's take this one this is your initial state q naught and what i'm doing right now the read write head is on to the first one so what i'll do 
I'll simply change this one to B. So this, if you find one, change it to B and go to the right hand side and the state will be Q1. This one will be changed to B now. Okay. I'll go to the right hand side. Now here, now the pointer will point this one. Now this one has to be skipped. So I'll here take a self loop. That is, if you find one, keep it as one and go to the right side. So all these ones will be skipped and the pointer will now come on to this zero. So I can take a self loop here also. That is, if you find a zero, keep it as zero, go to the right hand side. So this zero will also be skipped and it will come here. Again, this transition will be used and then these ones will be skipped. And finally, the pointer will point this B now. Okay. Now, again, it reaches onto the end of the input tape. So there, from there, it will take a left turn again and find the pair for this one, which it has made a B now. Okay. So it is now, if you find a B, keep it as B, go to the left side. Okay. So this B will be skipped and the pointer will now point this one. Now this one should be changed to one. So I'll go to some state, say Q2. And here I will make this one as B and go to the left side. So this one will be changed to B and I'll go to the left hand side and the pointer will now come on to this one. And I'll reach on say state Q3 now. Okay. Now at Q3, what I need to do, I need to skip everything and I have to come back to the initial state that is to this B. Why? Because one iteration has been complete, one cycle has been complete. I have to start for the second cycle, second iteration. Okay. So what I'll do here only, I'll take a self loop. That is, if you find one, keep it as one, go to the left. If you find zero, keep it as zero, go to the left. So all these ones and all these zeros will be skipped and the pointer will come on to this B now. Okay. Now I have to start for the second cycle. Therefore, what I'll do, I'll simply go to the initial state. That is, if you find B, keep it as B, go to the right hand side. So this B will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this one. Okay. Now at Q0, machine knows that if you find one, you should change it to simple B only. So I found one, this one is changed to B and move on to the right direction. So this one will be changed to B and the pointer will point to this one and at Q1. So at Q1, it is saying skip the ones, skip the zeros and go to the B. So all these ones and all these zeros will be skipped and the pointer will now point this B this time. Okay. And machine knows that Q1, if at Q1, if you get B, you should keep it as B and take a left turn. So I found this B, I skipped this B and took a left turn. So and now I'm on to the first one now. And the machine is at Q2. Now at Q2, machine again knows that if you find a one here, you should change it to B and go to the left side. So uh, I found this one here, change it to B and go to the left side. Now it is on one and the machine is at Q3. At Q3 machine again knows that if you find a one, you should keep it as one, go to the left. If you find zero, you should keep it as zero, go to the left side. So this one, this zero, all these ones will be skipped. And finally, the pointer will point this B at Q3 again. It knows that if you find a B, you should go to the initial state with BBR move. So I'll take this move B and B and R. That is, if you find B, keep it as B, go to the right side. So now I'm pointing on to this third one now. Okay. And the machine is at Q0. Again, at this point, machine again knows that if you find a one, change it to B. So I found this one, I change it to B and the pointer moves to the right hand side. And at Q1, again, machine knows that one should be skipped, zero should be skipped. So all these ones and all these zeros are skipped and the pointer comes on to this B now. Okay. Now at this B, Q1 knows that at Q1, it knows that I should take a left turn keeping B is B as B only. So this, this B will be as B only and I'll come on to this one and machine is at Q2 now. So at Q2, machine again knows that if you find a one, change it to B, go to the left side. So this one is changed to B and go to the left side and the machine is at Q3. Again, it knows that if you find a zero at Q3, let it be zero. If you find one, let it be one and go to the left side. So all these zeros and all these ones are skipped and the pointer now comes on to this B and we are ready for the third, sorry, fourth iteration. Okay. So at Q3, the pointer is at B. I'll take a, this move. That is, if you find B, keep it as B and go to the right hand side. So this, this B will be skipped and 
the pointer will now point on to this one and the machine is at q0 okay at q0 again fine now if you see that on the right hand side all the ones are finished okay so the result i should get here is one only so at q0 machine knows that if you find one you should change it to b and go to the right hand side so now what i am doing i have found this one i'll change it to b and i'll go on to the right hand side to search for its pair okay so i have done this one that is one is changed to b and the pointer points onto the right hand side that is zero at q1 it says that you have to skip zero so this zero will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this b and the machine is at q1 only okay so at q1 it is saying that if you find a b you should take a left turn okay so i found this b i took a left turn and i came uh, on to the zero and the machine is at q2 now now at q2 it is saying if you find one you should take you should uh, change it to b and go to the left side but here all the ones are finished and i'm, I'm not finding any ones here okay now if we are finding a zero that means the ones on the right hand side are finished and we are done now so we have to display the output from here so what i'll do now at q2 i'm not finding a one now what i'm finding i'm finding a zero okay and uh, this one has already been been changed to b so what i need i need to display one here at this point so simply what i'll do if you find zero you should change it to one and go to the right hand side okay or left hand side you can say fine i can take a left turn also so go to some state say q4 and we are done that is I found the zero. So the zero has been changed to one, and the pointer moves on to the left or to the right. It will point this way, and one is getting displayed. So four minus three is one. So this is for m greater than n. Okay. Now, if m is equal to n, what I'll do now? Let's take another string. Uh, that is uh, the input tape we have. Suppose m is equal to 2 and n is equal to 2 so we are doing for m is equal to n this time okay so i have a blank here then 1 2 suppose m is equal to 2 and then followed by a separator and then 1 2 and then several blanks here okay so i'll try to incorporate this also into this turing machine okay so for currently the read write head is on to the first one okay so the output that i should get here is zero only why because m is equal to n this time fine so at q0 it is saying that if you find one change it to b so this one is changed to b and go to the right the pointer will go on to this one now okay at q1 it knows that you have to skip once you have to skip zero so all these ones and all these zeros will be skipped and the pointer will come on to this b and at q1 machine knows that if you find a b you should keep it as b and take a left turn so this b will be kept as it is and i'll take a left turn i'll come on to this one and at q2 at q2 it is saying that if you find a one you should change it to b so this one will be changed to b and take a left turn so pointer will now come on to this one at q3 so at q3 it knows that ones and zeros have to be skipped so all these ones and all these zeros will be skipped and the pointer will now point this b now and from here q3 it will take a this move that is if you find a b keep it as b and go to the right hand side okay so this b will be b and it will go on to the right hand side so it will again come on to state q0 now so at q0 machine again knows that if you find if you find a one change it to b so one will be changed to b and go to the right so this one will be changed to b and the pointer will now point on to this zero and at q1 it knows that zeros and ones have to be skipped so all these zeros and all these ones will be skipped and the pointer will come on to this b now okay so i'll be at q1 now now at q1 it is saying that if you find a b keep it as b go to the left so this b will be as it is and the pointer will come on to this one now okay at q2 again at q2 machine knows that if you find a one change it to b and go to the left side so this one will be changed to b and i'll take a left turn and the pointer will now point zero so at q3 machine knows that if you find a zero keep it as zero go to the left hand side so this zero will be zero and the pointer will now point this b and as soon as it sees b it will take this move and come to initial state q0 and that is bbr the pointer will now point on to this zero now so at q0 i don't have a move for 
zero. So from here, I'll take a move for zero. Okay, that is, if you find a zero, you should change it to B and go to the right hand side. Okay, so this zero will be changed to B, and in the input tape, I haven't got anything. I have all the blanks. That means it is a zero now, and I'll go to some state, say Q five this time. Okay, and we are done. So this is for M greater than n and this is for m is equal to n i can even show zero also here that is zero comma zero comma since i am using zero as a separator therefore i am using a blank here okay so i can use a zero also in this case that is zero comma zero comma r that means a zero is displayed there fine so we are done with this case now the third case the final one that is if m is less than n okay so in that one the answer will be in minus but i don't have any means to show minus in a unary number okay so i'll simply say, uh, show a zero in this case okay so again i'll take some say input string and in the input string again i'll take say one two m is equal to two followed by a zero and then one two three okay followed by several blanks Okay, and the pointer is currently onto the first one now. Okay, so uh, in this one, because I know this m is equal to two, n is equal to three, so a minus one should be displayed here. But I don't have any means to show minus one here, so I'll simply put b b b here. That is, uh, zero will be displayed in this case. Okay, so what I'll do now, I'll simply start with this one. That is, initially one at q naught. If you find one, change it to b. So I'll change this one to we go on to the right at q1 it says ones and zeros should be skipped all the ones and zeros will be skipped and the pointer will point this b now at q1 it is saying if you find a b you should keep it as b go to the left side this b will be b and the pointer will now come on to this one now at q2 it is saying that if you find a one change it to b so this b one will be changed to b and take a left turn i'll come to this one and machine is at q3 at q3 it is saying that all the ones and all those zeros have to be skipped so all these ones and all these zeros are skipped and the pointer will now come on to this b now okay at q3 machine knows that if you find a b keep it as b go to the right side so again it will come back to initial state q naught and this b will be b and the pointer will now point this one now at q naught machine again knows that if you find a one you should change it to b and go to the right side so this one will be changed to b and i'll go on to the right hand side the pointer will now point on to this zero now okay so at q1 machine again knows that if you find a zero you should skip this zero you should skip these ones so all these zeros and all these ones will be skipped and with uh, this move that is b comma b comma l it will again come to this b and again it will take a left turn so if you find a b you should keep it as b and go to the left side so this b will be kept as it is and the pointer will now point on to this one okay at q2 machine again knows that if you find a one you should change it to b so this one will be changed to b and go to the left hand side there is a pointer now is now pointing this one so at q3 machine again again knows that if you find a one and if you find a zero, you should skip all these ones and all these zeros. So all these ones and all these zeros will be skipped and the pointer will now come on to this B now. Okay. So at Q3, again, it knows that if you find a B, you should keep it as B and go to the right side. So this B will be skipped and the pointer will now move on to this zero now okay so at q naught again what i'm finding now i'm finding a zero now at q zero machine knows that if you find zero you should change it to b so i'll change this zero uh, to b and the pointer will now point on to the next one okay so at q5 now I, i'm finding a single one here but in in any case i can find several ones here so i'll simply take a self loop here that is if you find a one you should change it to b and go to the right side so this one will be changed to b and the pointer will go on to the right hand side and what i'm finding now i'm finding a blank that is if you find a b change it to b go to the right side so all these b's will be skipped and i'll go to some state say q6 and we are done so this case is for m less than n so this is a turing machine that can subtract two numbers thank you so much